local attorney has made it her life's work to help provide vital services to those in the Valley and rural Nevada. And as part of our Hispanic Heritage Month coverage, anchor Trisha Keen shares a story of a local Latina working to put mental health at the forefront. It is very low income, especially when I was growing up. Francesca Van Buren says spending her childhood in Indian Springs, 45 miles outside of Las Vegas, left a lasting impression. There were kids who were living with their grandma, their aunts, you know, they, they weren't living with their parents. They um, were food insecure, they had suffered abuse. Um, they were just kids who were having a really hard time. Van Buren eventually left Indian Springs, earning a college degree and graduating from law school. But she never forgot the poor conditions back home. You moved on, became an attorney, and then you wanted to give back to your community, is what it sounds like. Yes, because I heard that <laughs> the people that I went to school with, they were, a lot of them were on drugs, you know, they were out on the streets, they had kids by that point. Van Buren says she wanted to help end the destructive cycle she saw from these families. So she created Inside Therapy Solutions, an after-school program providing therapy for children. But Van Buren says it wasn't enough. We would bring therapists out from Las Vegas to kind of oversee the program, and they would provide therapy to my kids, and they would bring them into a room and see them for five minutes at a time. And I thought to myself, okay, look, I'm not a therapist, but this, this cannot be real therapy. To provide improved services, she developed a full-fledged mental health clinic for all ages. Then in 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic changed everything. Van Buren says her business was forced to go virtual and she was shocked by the results. Nobody wanted to go back to the office. The therapist didn't want to go back. The clients didn't want to go back. Our retention rates were up. I mean, it was amazing. But the wonderful thing about telehealth is that it does allow us to expand our pool of um, therapists. And it seems like since the pandemic, mental health has really come into the forefront. Oh, big time, because now all of a sudden people understood how important mental health services really are. But as a Latina of Chilean descent, Van Buren says a lot of improvements still need to be made. In Nevada, 30% of the population is Hispanic, but 7% of therapists speak Spanish. How is somebody who is Hispanic gonna walk into a therapist's office, look at somebody that just looks totally different from them? How, how are they gonna explain their life to that person? Van Buren says telehealth has allowed her to expand her pool of available therapists, helping her to better pair her clients with the right person who can relate with her culture or upbringing.